holding. We're oh, excuse. Oh, 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 I didn't realize the production that was gonna happen. Start video. Oh, hey! <laughs> oh my god, I see Ribbon's ears. <laughs> His ears. Hi, Jazz. Hi, Addy. Hi, how are you? Hello, I'm so good. Thanks for doing this. Oh, Ribbon's gone. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. I'm a little terrified. A little, a lot terrified. Wait, but uh, are, we, are you eating it too? <gasps> oh, this makes it so much better. <laughs> This makes it, I didn't know. Oh my God. Okay, what's happening? What's going on? So first of all, thank you, Addie and Mike, for joining us. See, you have a oh, beverage yeah. going on. Beverages are important. Yeah, I have water here, and I also have milk, because I'm oh, terrified the, the AF. Milk. Oh, wait. No, no, no. That's that's just our beverages for life. It's not for heat. <laughs> okay, get your beverages for heat. This is... Almond there milk. you go. Also learned from Gordon Ramsay on Hot Ones that lime juice and lemon juice, he would just squirt them in his mouth, but we're, we're not quite so reckless, so we have shot glasses standing by. Dang. Um, yeah, that, that, so, I mean, you know, I'd like to say we won't meet them, but they're there. <laughs> Thank you guys again so much for being here. We finally hit our 25k Yay! fundraiser. Congratulations! We're so happy for you guys. Thank it's you so fun. much. I know y'all were hustling for that money. We yeah. were. And, and like, thank you guys for doing that shout out. And finally, we are here. We're eating the freaking spicy noodles. <laughs> um, I'm a little terrified, but yeah. You guys ready? All right. Everyone, cheers. I love you guys. Yeah. All right. Three, <laughs> two, one, go. Ah! I don't like it. <laughs> I feel it immediately. Let me ask you a quick question right now. Okay. First question, when did you guys start dancing? <sighs> <laughs> okay, I'll go first since Addie's dying. Um, I started dancing uh, when I was in seventh grade uh, at church because I saw some Bible study teachers that were had some moves and I was like, cool. You guys are dying. No, I'm holding it down. I'm fine. <laughs> I'm sweating. It's definitely like a just a full mouth coating of fire mm -hmm. yeah um i'm just sorry give me a second i'm just gonna yeah, no. oh <laughs> what she say about a reveal what she say about a reveal hey 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 oh this is really oh shout out to the studio to studio a mutual support let's go <laughs> love you guys since time started dancing when I was five. I started ballet when I was five. Five. <laughs> That's a very quick answer. Okay, you wanna, you wanna get straight into the second bite? Doing it. I'm really not about this right now. Okay, wait, can we ask you questions back? Sure. Back. Jazz, when did you start dancing? I started and about- What and what? What dance do you remember? Like, what was your, one of the first dances that you were in and what did you remember? Dang, see, we should just reverse the roles now because that was a really good question. Um, I, I started ballet when I was two. And then I remember, what are those like, those, what, uh, those black skirts? What are those called? It's like a type of, yeah, I don't remember, but it, I had like the black shoes with the character heels on. Character skirt. Character skirt, character shoes, character skirt, and then like the heel step, heel step with the hands on the hips, and that's what I remember the most. All right, I'm going for the milk soon. All right. Okay, so next question is, this is actually from Dennis from New Light. Oh, Hi, Dennis. Dennis. Oh, our Dennis, boy. we love you. We just, Run talked, up for life. we just talked to him the other day, actually. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah, so his question is, 
top three beat down memories. Oh. oh. Shout out New Light, Hell by yeah. the way. The on, on. Sandra, Dennis, the, the Trunk whole family. family. Straight up, we owe our lives and marriage to them. Straight up, we met because of the beat down, yeah. so that's definitely. So that's gotta be yeah. one. Yeah, meeting each other. Yeah, that's probably number meet one. Each meet each other at the first beat down in 2009. What was the question? Our favorite memories or top, top, three. top three memories? So meeting each other's one. Yeah. Um, Oh, when Kinja's performed oh uh, at Beat Down and she performed with us and she was a character and then we made, she had to pretend like she was dead yeah. for like half of the show. So she was just basically on the floor. What, little, little side, uh, like side, side note, I'm finding hard to find words right now. But um, when we were, when, when we did that, I was so scared to dance and um, I had to preset. There was like a Chinese changing room like set piece in the middle, and I had to preset at the top of the number behind that. And I stood there for it felt like forty five minutes waiting for them to do like the first half of their number before I got revealed. So through the little changing thing, I could just see them all dancing, and I was like, I want to kill myself. I want to die. I want to die right now. I'm going to throw up. I'm actually, I'm going to throw up on the floor. Oh my God, five, six, seven, eight, and one. <laughs> and I had to reveal, but I had to wait for so long. It was, I just remember it being excruciating, and I, I wanted, I regretted every decision up to that moment in my life for how I got there. Because why did I do that? But that was such a, that was such a classic moment because that was like, East and West meets on stage and it was like such a great moment for us like for Toronto for Canada and obviously you know you guys are married and that's like the sweetest thing ever Number three. Mm. Freestyling? Oh yeah the freestyle so the first this is a classic mm -hmm. this is a classic Chan unprepared moment uh, well, what about that? You described it. Well, well, I should rather say this is a classic Chan being late moment, <laughs> the unprepared moment. So the judges were there and I was late. And then when I arrived, everyone was huddled around Mike's computer and they were cutting music because they had all prepared showcase them, like pieces that they'd choreographed. And I had not. I was like, I thought we were just freestyling. So then <laughs> I made everybody canceled their prepared choreographed solos so that we freestyled instead. So then that's what we did. And I remember I wore my my um, my super hip hop sweater. I changed into my super like double. It had like a golden medallion chain that's like <laughs> added on it. It was like painted, painted on. on. Graffiti painted on. And it, and it had like the top of it was like a crown and then it said Addy on it and it was like and I wore my matching like orange and yellow high tops it was like very thought out that part was thought out the outfit okay all right before I uh, before I bite into this um the third question is from Jeff who actually did our designs um yeah. the Pokemon yeah. oh he edited the video yeah, Jeff is a huge, huge, huge fan, and he asked, can we get an Odin cameo? We'll take a bite, and here we go. Obviously. Fantastic question, Jeff. Ribbon's going to join you. Ribbon, come here. Hey, buddy. People want to see you. Ribbon. People want to see up, you. Up, up. Good girl. <gasps> oh, damn! That's a baby! Hi, Ribbon! Hi, Hi Ribbon! Oh, my God! This is Odin. Hi! Hey, Odin. Hi! You hanging? This is your cousin, Ribbon. Hi, <laughs> Sup, cuz? World? Can you say hello? He's kind of tired. Oh, he's chilling. He's a little bit sleepy. He was at work with us today, so he's a little bit sleepy. Nice. Was he at the studio? Yeah. yeah. It's a complex. 
That's our baby guy. Hi, Ribbon! Hi! So sweet! Oh. What kind of dog is that? She is a corgi mix. Oh. Yeah, from Korea. Oh, he's from China. Yeah! <laughs> Rescue cousins. Yeah! Question number four before I take my bite is... Um, what's it like working with your significant other? <laughs> She's gonna answer that first. <laughs> um, what? My spouse. Working. It has been a journey through time and space. We've been working together for three years and it has gotten more intense and the jobs have gotten crazier every year. So it's a journey. It's a journey to like define. To define the work relationship um, in contrast with your I love you relationship. They're very different because I like work me is different from normal me and so on and and how we work is different. So we had to like figure out how we each and we're super different. I think when we yeah. work, but in that way we also are the power couple because we balance out each other's strengths and weaknesses. So what are what are <laughs> your strengths and what are uh, Mike's strengths? Mm -hmm. What are my strengths, babe? <laughs> she is an uh, organizational mastermind. It's true. She's like, she sees a matrix. She's 20 steps ahead. There's going to be a fire 20 steps <laughs> later. So it's like her spidey sense, mutant power. Yeah, I can attest to that superpower. Yep. It's amazing to watch in, in real life. <laughs> it's like, whoa. But then, but then she'll be like, Jazz, where am I? <laughs> what day is it? <laughs> Very true. So true. Mike's superpower, definitely his, um, I mean, it's, it seems so obvious, but his imagination and creativity, for real. Um, and I think especially when, like, I'm very primed, well, not, but when I choreograph, I think like a producer as well. So sometimes I already start putting up guardrails because I'm just thinking about execution. Um, and then, in, and then, so, so it's, it's my gift and my curse sometimes. Whereas Mike, um, yeah, his, his no guardrails, baby. No guardrails. <laughs> no guardrails. This one is no guardrail. But then, it's also like what we've learned is we just have to figure each other out in our work life. And we've had, we've had very candid talks about it. So it takes time, I think, for any couple to like figure out the work you, but, but once you do, then it's, it's rad. And it's honestly, it's a dream come true to get to work with your spouse and do big, big things and travel and make stuff and, your turn. No, you pretty much uh, hit it on the dot. Um, the fire is really starting to uh, like add yeah, on. The At first, I was like, I got this, but now I'm like, ah, like talking. The cross the tongue. Yeah. All right, last bite. You guys ready? I actually have to take some from Addie's bowl because I, I finished my plate. I told you he was <laughs> I told you he Please take some of mine. So yeah, so <clears throat> my last question was going to be, what are some new and exciting things for the Kinjas? But yeah, like for any, all sorts of projects, would love Ooh. to know. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, wow. Wow, just try. You have any lemon juice kicking around? It cuts in. Whoa. Cuts in. It's like a science experiment. Yeah. Gordon it Ramsay. It actually feels like a science experiment. Gordon Ramsay. 
Uh, Michael, I need a shot of lemon juice, please. <laughs> or lime. Just kidding. Lemon or a lime. Um, future projects for kids. Um, to be honest, we're, we're all working on a bunch of stuff we can't talk about right now. So um, all I will say is that... <laughs> no! Oh, wow! Hey! I need a knife, though. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> we just have to just, like, rip it into the all right. Basically, we've been doing a lot of work. <laughs> what presentation? All right. Do you need one more? Make the juice first. Go, go. Yeah, you gotta just right yeah. into it, Jet. Yeah. Right into it. There you go. Pop rocks. At first, you're like, no, but then it's like, oh. What the heck? Pop rocks. Right. Over the tongue. What the heck? Hi. Right, here's what I can't talk about: Kinder bag noodles. Yeah. <laughs> Kinja Bang noodles. Yeah. Um, we are releasing our first food venture. Um, it is coming out, fingers crossed. I don't know, I don't know if I'm allowed to say this, but fingers crossed at the end of October, November. That is like where we're aiming for the release of the noodles. Yes. Mm -hmm. And they are 100% um, plant based. They are vegan. They are a little bit spicy. Nothing Not compared like this. to this. Not like like this. if like if this is a two X on that same scale, I would probably say it's like um, because I feel like on a scale of one to ten, this two X is actually like an eight at a Thai restaurant. This is like an eight at a Thai restaurant. I feel like it's an true. eight point two. It's true. It's like an eight point two at a Thai restaurant on that same scale. Uh, Kinder Bang noodles spiciness is probably like a three. <laughs> it's like super chill. You just kind of get that flavor and that's it, that chili flavor. Um, They're air dried, never fried, 100% yep. plant based, yep. Yep. vegan, yep. delicious. So, um, yeah, I'm super excited because, you know, this is like. Uh, is our baby and I, I hope people like it i would just really want people to like it because we ain't trying to put out some food just to put out food and be like yo here it is whatever like i want people to legit be like yo this is actually good and it's like affordable yes nice follow at kinja bang noodles on instagram <laughs> right here somewhere <laughs> i have two follow-up questions yeah. One from myself is, what is your favorite noodle spot ever of all the lands? Out of the ramen spots I've been to in Canada, I would say um, uh, Santuca. Santuca's ramen is, is pretty, to, to my standard, I think it's pretty legit. The Shio salt ramen, that broth, like that's the best Shio. Like I'm like, I don't think there's a better shio or tonkatsu like that that type of creamy flavor. Tell me there's a better spot in Canada than Santo. Um, I'm gonna shout out just for spirit, um, Kinton in Toronto, just to represent because mm -hmm. that was my joint. Uh huh. You Love Kinton. Kinton's cool. I Kinton's do. cool. I do. Mm -hmm. Um, I big bowls, big servings. They give like big. They you're do. like, whoa! They hook it up. Yep, yeah. Our local LA spots. Got to give it up to Menno mm -hmm. in Little Tokyo. Got to give it up to... Rock On. Rock On. Mm -hmm. Got to give it up to Tokyo Beat for that late night. Yeah, Tokyo Beat's our secret spot in LA. That is a, It's a karaoke bar, and they start serving ramen at night. And it's and you have to eat it with super loud music going yeah. on. Or whatever, Sometimes yeah. there's either like really bad karaoke going on or like a really, really... There's like drum and really bass drum, nights. Genuine yeah. drum and bass yeah, night. Yeah, yeah. But it's rad. But you go for the ramen, and it's it's everything. The late night hype. Uh, my okay, so I have another question about the Kinja Bang noodles. Did you guys um, help with the recipe, or like how involved in the whole process were you guys? So, we're just start at the origin of this whole thing. We're actually releasing a video about this on the Kinja's channel in a couple weeks explain the whole origin okay then we can we can um link that as soon as that's out oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. oh it's not gonna head chest 
But um, so our, our main partner on Kinder Bang Noodles, who is the, the food expert, um, he's a long time friend of ours. I've known him for damn, over 20 years. A long, long time. Or not 20 years, but very long. And uh, do you remember a brand called Collusive? I don't think it was. It, wasn't it was in, in Toronto. In, in okay, Canada. it was really big in the dance scene in the states. But, anyways, um, that was uh, we were really close friends with the owner of that brand, and then we kind of like went our ways. When we reconnected with him, he had gone off into food, and we always wanted to do something with him. Um, <clears throat> when we found out he was in food, we were like, "Yo, this is like the perfect opportunity to um, brainstorm," and so. Just threw, um, you know, a couple of drinks in. We uh, we kind of got to a plant-based noodle. And from there, he has like a kitchen at his office. And we would just go in. We would test different noodles. We were testing all different uh, types of noodles, different sauces. We were going back and forth on whether or not it was going to be, I don't know if I should say this much because people might be disappointed what we didn't go with. But Don't do that. I'll just say it, I'll just say it, I'll just say it. It was either gonna be like this this current spicy one we have, or there was like this peanutty sesame-ish mm. option mm. for the the one we first come out with. And we were like, damn, that one's good too. I love that <laughs> Mike is still eating the noodles. I'm I'm gonna say that's it, man. You did pretty good, man. Thanks. I'm proud. I am proud. Yeah, okay, let's let's wrap it up. Thank you guys so much. Thank I love you, you guys. guys. We love you. I love you guys so much. I love you guys, and I miss you guys so much. It's been so long since we've been in the same room. And, yeah, again, appreciate everything that you guys have done for our fundraiser, for my life. You guys have been there. It's such a huge part of, you know, me getting to where I'm at right now, so... Just so much love for you guys. We love you too, Jazz. Congrats. Yeah, congrats again. Thank you. Vibe forever. Vibe forever. Oh. Kid just forever. <laughs> love Sending it. Sending you all the vibes. All the vibes. Yeah. You guys got, you guys got revived. <laughs> the, the whole. <laughs> it worked. We did it. That was my favorite part of the video, honestly. Oh man, that was a that was that was that video was done like in between a thousand things and like negative fifty brain cells. That so, was that was when she was in. What day is it? Mode. <laughs> but we did it. Anything yeah. for you, Jazz. We love you, and we're so happy for you and for everybody at Five. Congrats, and you must work so hard for it. So. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. It's like the hardest thing to say bye because like, but it's okay. We're going to catch up soon. We're past these NDAs. Oh, uh, yes. I'll Can harass you. you. I'll harass you. You harass me. Yeah. All right. Thank you, guys. Love you. Love you, guys. Bye. Bye. bye.